All right, guys, today we are taking a look at the Awesome Golf Simulator program. Now, we do a lot of golf simulator reviews and builds here on the channel, and Awesome Golf first came on our radar a couple of months ago when we were experimenting with it with the new Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. And needless to say, Awesome Golf is definitely one of the most popular golf simulator programs out there. A lot of you have been using it, and we even posted a poll on our community page and a lot of you had a lot of great things to say about it, so we were interested to dive deeper. All right, so we're gonna take you through all the features. We're gonna go through all of the play modes. We'll tell you what we love about this program and some of the stuff we'd love to see changed in a future update. And of course, we'll take you through the price of everything. And in fact, we're gonna play a hole or two in the sim. Yeah, we are. First though, let's dig into who exactly can use Awesome Golf and what different systems it's compatible with. I think one of the best parts is that it's multi-platform compatible. So it works for iOS, it works for Android, it also works on Windows uh, desktop computers, so a lot of diversity there. And as far as launch monitors go, you can use it with the FlightScope Mevo Plus, right. you can also use it with the Garmin R10, and recently added, as I mentioned earlier, is the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. So you've got multiple different launch monitors monitor and iOS and other operating systems that this app, this program, whatever you want to call it, can work on. It is definitely multi-platform compatible. All right, so let's talk about one of our favorite features, that's that user experience. And it's a theme we're gonna keep coming back to throughout this video, how easy Awesome Golf is to use. If you're not tech savvy and you don't know how to set these programs up, they could be a little tedious and they could be tough to navigate. This is simple. It's a touch screen. It's got everything you need right at the touch of a fingertip. I love that and it makes it easy for any age. Absolutely. In fact, as I say, I'll come back to this often, there will be a theme is using this like with kids. If you've got kids right. who play golf, my nine-year-old was able to navigate through this menu. I gave it to her. She was just using it. She knew what challenges and things she wanted to do. She was able to find them with ease. So if you're somebody who's at least a little bit wary that some of the tech stuff is going to be something you fumble with, this is something you wanna look at because it's, it's super easy. It's almost comically easy how easy it is to use this thing. Now, clicking on range, you can see another sub menu that shows multiple options here. It's not just a driving range. And you're gonna see that that's the theme. There's gonna be a lot of, as I say before, games mm -hmm. within the game. So you can go through these one by one, taking a look, starting with shot by shot. And shot by shot is really kind of your standard range session, but even within this, you've got multiple options. You've got first an overview, they call it an mm -hmm. overview view. Uh, this is where I really like this, especially for beginner golfers, because it distills it down to just the simple stuff that you wanna see. It'll tell you, you know, was that a, a slice? Was it a push? Things like that. If you wanna work on your basics, it's a nice clean look. Graphically, mm -hmm. I think it's super clean. I really like this, especially for beginners or somebody who wants to just hone in on one thing. But if you want to dive even deeper, you've got your detail view. This is gonna show you everything on one screen. Um, it, keep in mind, all the information that you're getting here is coming from your launch monitor itself. So this detail mode is gonna show you everything, not only for the individual shot, but it's also gonna show you for a grouping of shots. and. There's even some ability here to change the way the algorithm is functioning. So you're, again, all the data is coming from your launch monitor, but you can control, for example, the softness to the firmness of the range oh, where you're cool. hitting. So you're gonna be able to see changing the rollout, how much you wanna roll. So if you feel like you're used to f playing firmer conditions and you wanna see a total distance that's more accurate, reflective of mm -hmm. that, you can select that there. And what I love is that you can just go back and forth between overview and detailed. It's simple, right within the same session, you just click that button. Right. Now, of course, what the question that's gonna come up, and really at the end of the day, it's only as good as the data you're getting. We can love to see all of our launch characteristics, right. but how accurate are mm -hmm. they? So to answer that, it's actually quite simple. It's all coming directly from your launch monitor. So it all depends on how accurate the launch monitor itself is. Now. Here on the channel, we've done some extensive testing of things like the Garmin R10 and the mm. uh, Rapsodo MLM2 Pro and found them to be very, very accurate, especially when you're using the right 
ball, right. the RPT or the RCT ball. So we'll link to those videos so you can check that out. Just know that that information that's coming from the launch monitor is what's being pushed here. What we like about this is the cleanliness of the display. A lot of people have said that this is a better, easier to understand and read display mm -hmm. than what's coming built into some of the launch monitors. Here you're able to get the information from your launch monitor, but in a way that I think is easily digestible. Right. What I also love within range is this approach shots, which is cool because it offers you the opportunity to hit multiple different targets. You can toggle it easily with your finger on the tablet and just go back and forth, pick your targets. And what I love even more about it is that some of our local ranges or the places we practice, it could be a field in the park, if you live in a big city, whatever the case may be, you don't have any targets out there. So you could set this up on a nice little stand, you can set up your game, you can have targets right there at your fingertips. Yeah, it's, it's funny because so many of us, we think of this in an indoor environment into a net, but keep in mind, these launch monitors that work with this are all portable launch monitors. So you can bring it to the range and still have the Awesome Golf app up. And now, as you're saying, you're creating targets that are not physically there. Right. So it's one of my favorite features as well. And also another thing that's super, super helpful when it comes to uh, knowing your distances and also with gapping is the club distances option. This is also within the range option. And what this does is you can either select all the clubs in your bag or select a single club, and you can select a certain number of shots. It allows you to hit those shots with the club and then it'll give you your averages for how far that club travels. And which is just key to know when it comes to bettering your game. Absolutely. The only thing here, Mike, that I would have changed with this and I hope to see in a future release is that the focus here is on total distance. Like we mentioned earlier, you can change the soft to the firmness of the conditions. Right. But personally, if I'm dialing my gapping, I like to see it on a carry distance rather than a total distance. So hopefully that's something that'll be changed in a future update, but for now it's still invaluable to have a tool where you can work your way through your bag and find your distances. And the last range mode is coaching, which is the opportunity for you to get dialed in even more with the coach. You could fully customize the view and just focus on any area of your game that you really wanna hone in on. Yeah, I love this one, especially I was working on just my spin axis the other day. You can just click that, see that full screen. Right. So even if it's just a player and not working with a coach or it has a coach which coaches often like to highlight individual things. And here too, you can see individual shots and you can see groupings of shots. So a great tool to use for your, by yourself or with a coach. But one theme that you're seeing develop is that already we're showing you a whole lot of features and that's only under that one section. Right. This is where I say the, the program itself is so robust because you've got everything that's dialed in under each of the menu. So hopping out of that and into the next menu, you see challenges. And the challenges are great because they allow you to test your skills in a number of different ways. And here's where that multiplayer kicks in as yep. well. You can see how you stack up against the leaderboard of other users. You can break leaderboards down to by the day, the month, or all time, and you can really kind of see as you progress. Now there's multiple options here. Um, some of them are pretty straightforward. For example, you've got closest to the pin. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a closest to the pin competition. You get three shots. With all of these, it's important to say that you can vary your difficulty level mm -hmm. from easy to hard. I'm gonna keep coming back to that because like I said, I've used this before with my kids or beginner golfers and you're not, you're not outgrowing it. Like as a better golfer, you can jump right to hard and there's some difficult shots in there. Or if you wanna start easier, you definitely can. So you've got multiple options within that. And I know the other one that you really like, Mike, is long the longest drive, drive it's right? It's cool, it sets you up like you're in the world, long drive. You know, pretty, pretty sweet, it sets you up. You can see the distances. Uh, you can hit the ball as hard as you can. You can have fun doing that. And those are for those sessions I just want to let it rip. Exactly. You really want to see yourself on that. It's pretty cool. That's for sure. Yep. And of course, it's not all about bombing the ball. So we got target golf as well. And again, here's where you're going to challenge yourself again, you know, against your own personal best or whatever it may be. And similar to some of the other modes we showed, you can drag around the screen, aim at different targets. Obviously, the further the target and the closer you are to the pin, the more points you're going to score. But it's that gamification that makes the practice is fun. You mm -hmm. can get out there, you can challenge yourself to hit different clubs in the bag and see if you can beat your own record, beat your buddy's score, or beat those worldwide leaderboards. Right. Mm -hmm. But then there's also the skills mm -hmm. challenge. And this is one that can be the most fun, but can also be the most difficult. You can start off on an easy mode. It's just straight away a couple different targets, but we even tried the hard mode. And let me tell you something, it will test your ability to shape shots. There are actual field goal posts out there and it'll force you to hit a varying amount of draw yep. and fade shots into the target. And 
if your shot doesn't go through the goalpost and it lands on target, it doesn't count. That's right. So mm -hmm. this one, I tell you, it really does get tough. There's even some shots up to 240 yards that you've got to play a 240 yard fade or draw. It's it's fun. So it's your fun. better golfers out there uh -huh. are going to be challenged. And it's one of those things that's addicting. It'll keep getting you come back. And as you're challenging those skills, what are happening, you're getting better. Exactly. So right. there again, we've got four different options under challenges and if you then want to step it up and make it even a little bit more of a game-like feel and something that I think this is where the wheelhouse is for my kids who are just first getting into golf and getting into practicing it is the shootouts tab. Within the shootouts tab, again, we've got four different options here. All of these options are similar to the challenges we just mentioned. However, they bring a bit of like fantasy. Yes, in. that's a good one. So whether you're trying to hit boats or knocking down buildings, mm. you're still working on those short game shots, but you're doing it in a way that is kind of visually more stimulating, right. a little more fun. And like mm -hmm. I said, I, I can't hammer home enough how much my kids love doing this. The first one, there's Super Splash. Mm -hmm. uh, again, every single one of these, I'll keep mentioning it, they all range in difficulty options from easy to hard. And what that'll do is it'll, make, it'll change the size and the distance of the targets. But you get to splash into pools. There's a shark swimming yeah. around in Chip there. Chip into pools to score sounds easy, but watch out for the sharks. Exactly, watch out for the sharks. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, like I, it seems like a kid thing when you first did it, but I can't say that You're I wasn't in there having stuff. a little fun yeah, doing it myself. Yeah, right. It was fun yeah. to splash into some of the pools. <laughs> So I like that one. And then there's also Boat Blast. Yep. So here you get to sink boats. And uh, if you move it up to the hard difficulty level, the targets are moving. They're moving out there. They are. And you know what I kind of like about that? I feel like sometimes as golfers, we can get too locked in and overthinking things instead of just getting in there and swinging. Yep. Well, this one, you're against the clock. Mm -hmm. The boats are moving. So you just get to react. Yeah. Just hit and react and hit the different boats. See how many you can sink. See if you can That's beat fun. your buddy. See if you can beat it's your like golf meets battleship. It's cool, but it's not my favorite. <laughs> we all know what your favorite is. Take us my through it. My favorite is wrecking balls because it gives you the opportunity to break buildings, brick buildings with these low stinger shots. They explode. They just explode, and you can work on those short shots. And like the other one, if you put it in hard mode, they're long. They're long, and the, and the actual targets become more resist, resilient. You have to hit them harder. So if you want to set on easy, have your kids hit it. They hit a little chip shot, Some the building blows up, down, fun. fun. But then for you, you could be hitting 85 yard <laughs> stingers, right? Yeah. And trying to knock those buildings over. So wrecking balls is one of my favorite as well. And then you have get in the hole, mm -hmm. which uh, it brings me back to the days of like we used to play. Remember that game Rampage and you you, you were Godzilla you and you got chew to- the buildings. Yeah, you got to knock yeah, the yeah, buildings yeah, yeah, down. Yeah. Maybe I'm really dating myself yes. with, with Rampage. But Rampage. here again, you get to practice different length pitch shots, 35 yards, 50 yards. Yep. And the idea is wherever you land, it creates a huge sinkhole and the buildings fall in. You see if you can knock as many down as you can. So again, similar in skill to what we saw with challenges, but shootouts brings that extra element of playfulness, game, you know, game type of style where your kids are gonna like it. And again, there's no part of these graphics that are absolutely gonna blow you away. They, they, they're not quite in that hyper-realism. Mm -hmm. They're more in that fun, whimsical, but they're crisp, they're clean. That's all I can ask for in a game like that. And what it all boils down to, Mike, this is all a little bit Mr. Miyagi for me. Right, remember I'll paint the fence paint the and fence whatever. And yeah. Here, you're in here, you're mm. doing these things. This is something we don't see in a lot of other simulator programs where you've got these skill challenges, you've got these shootouts, you're having fun, you're knocking down buildings, but all the while, you're becoming a better golfer for it. You know, I'm knocking down buildings at 35 yards, next thing I know, I'm on the golf course, I've got 35 yeah. yards to a pin, knocking and I'm like, this is kind of familiar, right? <laughs> yeah. So it gets you a little Mr. Miyagi in some, certain ways, but I really enjoy it. Now, we're gonna to touch on the golf itself, the virtual golf in just a second, but before we do, of course, we gotta talk about another feature which you see on the home screen, which is competitions. Competitions are basically the different shootouts and challenges we saw earlier, but they vary over time, and they actually include some real prizes. 
So for example, if you look at the April skills challenge is still going on as of when we're filming this, and there's a chance to win a $30 gift card. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and mm -hmm. what you're doing is you're competing against other awesome golf users for those top spots. Now these will change from time to time. So it's cool because it keeps the app, the app, the program more engaging and more interactive over time. They do refresh. You've got all different ones for those global leaderboards. So every once in a while, pop in there, check out what challenges are available and do them before the time runs out. There's a time limit on doing these challenges. So hop in there and give those a try as well. Now though, for where the rubber really meets the road when we talk about golf simulators, of course, is gonna be the simulated golf itself. Within the golf, there are four, I'm gonna hammer on this, it's important, fictitious golf courses. A lot of the simulators that we're used to seeing are replicas of golf courses that we know. Right. These are fictitious. They're all nine hole courses and they really vary in difficulty. So as you go through the courses, not only is there difficulty of the different shot making, but there's also environmental factors that come in, like high winds at the desert uh, canyon golf course, and it's gonna make it a little bit, little bit more difficult. This though, I will say is the one area for me that left me wanting a little bit more. Right. Because there's only a total of 36 holes, four nine hole golf courses, there is the possibility that you're gonna say, listen, I would love to see a little more, I would love to see some more uh, you know, diversity and be able to play more golf courses. One thing I will say, and we're gonna take you through in a second, we're actually gonna play a golf hole live right here, uh, is that what it has working for it is that you've got multiple tee box options. There are five tee box options for each of the courses. Okay. So not only for different varying yep. levels, but you can also test yourself and jump mm -hmm. around tee boxes. There's also an unbelievable number of different gameplay modes. But before we show you those gameplay modes, one thing I will say is the graphics themselves, again, here, somewhere between realistic and cartoony. Meaning again, the visuals, they're crisp, they're modern, but at a certain time, this, you definitely can't call this realistic. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that that's what they're trying to go for here. It's a little bit more playful in that way. And then within that, you've got stroke play, you've got match play formats, you've got skins formats. Again, I think the biggest selling factor for me on this, although there's not a lot of different golf courses, the fact that you can do multiplayer and structure it that way, mm -hmm. I could see having this set up into a net in your garage, inviting your buddies over and be like, let's play a skins match today. Right, let's play right. match play, let's mm -hmm. play stroke play. You also have individual, you have scramble, better ball, alternate shot. So this is something that I don't see a lot of on other golf simulators is the number of different formats you can play. Again, I just wish that there were a little bit more options as far as courses, because I could see over time getting a little bit bored of the repetition of playing the same four right. courses over and over. Now. We'll want to dig into the actual price of this system in a second because I think that's going to be a huge deciding factor for you guys and there are multiple price options. You're going to want to make sure you select the right one. Mm -hmm. We're going to dive into that in a second, but first, Mike, let's fire up the simulator ourselves here. Let's play through a hole and show you what that gameplay looks like and give you our feedback in real time. Now we're going to play a little virtual golf. You ready? I'm ready. Four options here like we talked about. Let's go right to the hard one. Let's do the Let's pines. challenge us. Valley Pines reminds me of being in Pinehurst. Like we were saying, we could do one or one through nine holes, or we could select individual holes if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. Very easy to do. But instead, today, let's do a one hole. We're going to do a match play. We'll do individual play. And we're going to both play from the Pentagon, Pentagon tees. tees. That's you our ready? distances. OK. You're probably going to be up first. There's our hole. Ooh, danger lurks on the right. Ooh, what's this? A par five. Long haul. Yeah, we're gonna. Someone's gonna get home in two here. I got an eagle possibility here. Let's take it out. Gave it his all. It's my fairway finder, and it didn't even oh, find the fairway. Wow. Oh, hit that rough. Okay. So, by the way, one thing that this will do is it will penalize you for rough or sand. So we'll actually take something off of it. I've been in a greenside bunker with this before. If it, it'll tell you what your lie condition is. If it's plugged, you really do have to blast it out. So it will take that into account a little bit. And watch, I'll be in the rough. It's gonna take some off my next shot. Mike's up. Oh, that might be in the water. Nope. Ah, it's beautiful. It's what perfect. Do you mean? I thought so. Position A. We're gonna be going for it. Excellent. Okay, we're caught up in the rough. You could see what I mean down here, where it says poor lie. 
that does, in my experience, take a little bit off of it. So Mike, do me a favor, aim me a little bit more left. I don't want to take on water out of the rough. It's probably pretty good right there. All right, let's see the fade game. Nice crispy shot there. That's not bad at all. Good, good recovery. You'll have a wedge in. There we go. Play a little fade. We're going to give ourselves a wedge. Look at it. That's beautiful. Now, what you guys are going to see in a second is there's no putting in this at all. There is a circle for a one putt gimme. Beyond that, on the green is a two putt. Let us know your thoughts about the putting in the comments, but there is no putting in this simulator at all. There's good and bad to that. It does move fast, but some people like to be able to putt. So let us know you guys' thoughts on that. Mike's only 227. I don't even have to use the driver. Sorry about that. Okay. The other thing I like here that it also shows you a couple things. Top left will show you the wind. Like I said, some courses it really gets kicked up. You've also got how far above or below you are to the hole. So Mike's playing 227 yards, six feet down, only four miles an hour wind. Do me a favor and aim me right over here. Thanks. Don't be all over that. Be all over it. Be all over it. Come on, turn. Keep turning. Keep turning. If it gets on the green, it's a two putt. It's a two putt for a birdie, right? Come on! Oh. Oh, fringe. You're gonna have to chip. Okay. Oh, oh flew it. You flew it. it. See, and now's where I'm gonna lose strokes because now I have to hit again. You do have to hit again, right? This is where we could bury him. There it is. Birdie? One putt birdie. All right. So I got to hole out the top. I got to actually hole it. He's got this. I've seen him do it before. I've got to actually hole it. He's done it many times in real life on the course. He could do it here. Here it comes. And we're not talking about getting inside the green, the red. We're, we're talking about it hole, actually hole. has to go in the hole. Let's go in the cup, bottom of the cup. It's the only chance here, birdie. Push it a little right. Going to miss the hole. Ugh. All right, one putt. All right, one putt par. So as you can see, the gameplay is fun, but let's hop back into the booth. Let's talk now about price and wrap this up with some final thoughts. All right, so as you can see, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and obviously, Awesome Golf has a lot of those, as I mentioned before, the games within the game. I think some of the most robust areas are the ranges and the challenges, and then you've got the virtual golf as well. But you're gonna wonder, okay, is this something that is worth the price? Right. Well, that's gonna be a very individual decision. The one thing that I will say that is really helps you make that decision, and I strongly, strongly recommend doing this, is taking advantage of the 14-day trial. It is a robust trial, it's a full two weeks, and it's fully unlocked. Yeah, you'd be able to go through all of this. You can, because that's the thing. A lot of trials, sometimes they give you a sneak peek. Maybe you can play one course, and I, this unlocks everything for the full 14 days. You are fully able to give it that, that full deep dive and see if this is something that you want to invest in. If you do want to invest and make that purchase, you essentially boils down to two options. So you can either spend $199.99 for the program license plus an additional $9.99 per month, mm -hmm. or you can go all in $349.99 will give you that one-time purchase lifetime license that unlocks everything. Well, I should say they both unlock everything and both will give you all of the feature updates as new features are rolled out into the program. You get that with both. However, with the monthly, you only get those new features so long as your subscription remains active. Gotcha. The moment that you stop paying your subscription, you lose out on all of that. So keep in mind, your break even that makes it is about 15 months. Mm -hmm. After about 15 months of use, uh, you're gonna be end up paying more than the $349.99. So my suggestion would be do the full 14 day trial. Feel like if this is something that you're enjoying as much as we've been enjoying it, and if you are, just make the commitment to the 349. You know you have it forever, you've got all updates, and it's yours to use without having to worry about the monthly. Either way though, let us know what you guys think about the pricing in the comments below. would love to hear what for some of you who've purchased this, what your decision was and your strategy between those two options. would love to hear that. So final thoughts here, let's talk about it. I think who is this ideal for? I think the person that this is ideal for is someone especially who has multiple golfers in their family, mm -hmm. especially with younger kids. Sure. For you, let's say maybe you're a more serious golfer and you've got kids getting into the game. 
I think on the serious side, it's got plenty of challenge in here that'll keep you going. The monthly challenges that come up, just trying to beat those leaderboards, yep. work on your game, and also that range feature where you get all that data in one place. That's the things I think it's the real meat of this that you're gonna be using often. And if you've got the young kids, they can go in, they can do the shootouts, it can be a, a family event, you're playing golf together, and they're getting better. I think those are the people that this is absolutely perfect for. So that's our deep dive into awesome golf. Wanna know what you guys think about it as well? Make sure you post in the comment. Thank you for everyone who answered our survey about this and who gave your own feedback on it. We appreciate that while we were doing our research on it and getting our feet wet using it. And as well, if there are any other simulators or simulator software that you'd like to see us test, demo, and walk through here on the channel, let us know. It's what we love doing. We've got a whole playlist on the channel of simulator content, so make sure you check that out. Like I said, give Awesome Golf a look. If nothing else, do that 14-day trial. See if it's a good fit for you, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. We'll see you guys in the next video.